Well, good morning. And uh, first things first, thank you for tuning into this brand new channel. Um, this is our very first vlog on this brand new channel. So bear with us. We're bound to make mistakes because a little bit like a fish out of water with it at the minute. What this vlog is about is we're going to do a walkthrough on the Swan Rapture from Richardson's. Uh, I'm a little way from the boat because it's still early in the morning and there are people still in bed. So decided to come to a quiet little spot. So well, the boat at the minute is lived in, so I apologise for that. Um, what can I say? We, we decided to do this walkthrough because we tried to look for the Swan Rapture online, as many people do. And we couldn't find the Swan Rapture. We found the Swan Roma, and as far as I'm con I know, I think they're very, very similar. But it narrows down the search if uh, you're looking for the correct boat. So the boat is a little way over there. So we'll crack on. Thank you. This is Sal House Broad, and it's still pretty early in the morning half seven so there are people still in bed Unless she is the Swan Rapture. She is 35 foot long, 12 foot wide. She has a seven foot air draft. Uh, we're gonna take you in through the back, through the stern. She's, she's a very easy boat to handle, she's lovely. Uh, it's quite a step. We have a dog, so and it's been a little bit of an issue getting her on and off. So there's quite a deep well in the bottom to access the boat. We have nice big double doors as you enter the boat. Uh, she's only designed to take two it says luxury for two and I would say that's fairly spot on there's a little dressing table area here uh, which is quite handy there's not a great deal of three-point plugs on the boat but there's enough all the electric panel there which we basically don't touch any of that there's an inverter for your 240 volt at the top. Uh, as I say, it's a lovely double bed in the back here. Uh, there's a, a large storage cupboard, cupboard, cupboard there, like a wardrobe type thing. Lovely cupboards at the bottom, plenty of storage. Two drawers, they, they go quite deep back into the boat there's what is described as a little airing cupboard and I don't know what you're going to air in there it's it's not massive it's not massive um, what is impressive about this is the size of the head in here it's absolutely it, it's massive for a little boat or the boat of this size it's massive this is like a power shower it's on mixer taps but believe me it works tremendously I like the shower curtain back over to dry out there's a mirror on the wall I say she's only 30, 35 foot long uh, this is the galley Plenty of room for two. Again, storage, nice 
plenty of room for storage that drawer doesn't open because obviously the sink there are two storage drawer there for your cutlery and another drawer for the crockery there uh, come around and behind me here there's a massive storage shelf here and I think underneath there is the the engine which don't let that put you off it's 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 qu fairly quiet microwave sorry cooker microwave and fridge nice plenty of room in the fridge as we come into the the saloon salon whatever you want to call it there's a double chair there which we've stored wine and a couple of bits of beer on there uh, the helm yes yeah, she's very very easy to handle your obligatory rev counter volts temperature gauge oil gauge ignition key stop start button well, stop button not stop start she has bow thrusters which you press these two simultaneously it comes on it's very simple to use left and right and off that's very very simple to use the TV's in a little bit of an awkward spot down there but for us that's not a problem because we haven't even had the TV on yet we've been on here two days we haven't had the TV on nice big area in front of the helm for well I've plunked all my bits of camera gear on there uh, and again the same well not as big the other side but again bit of storage lovely big sofa with the old chocolate fudge fast asleep we've got to show you the fudge got to there we go um, yeah and as you can see I mean she's a big dog it's a nice big area there for her bed and yeah there's another plug socket under there there's not there's not a great deal of plug sockets about but for two of you there's enough I mean I don't know whether that's right or wrong we've got a little extension cable there well there we go this is a nice it a lift up table and you can both sit around there you've got stools two stools I think there's three stools why three I don't know there's only peeps oh yeah there's three there's only meant to be two people on here then we come out to the bow the front of the boat and there's two steps up to the bow with the obligatory mud weight on the front and that is basically the Swan Rapture and this is Sal House Broad which is absolutely stunning one of our favorite moorings here and uh, yeah absolutely stunning so well let me uh, so yeah I mean if you're a couple and you're planning to come on the broads for the very first time this is an ideal boat if you're worried about handling a boat for the first time this would be the ideal boat for you it's very easy to handle and uh, yeah that is the Swan Rapture thank you right well I hope that was helpful um, yeah me and my wife we both love this boat it's it's been fantastic so far so good uh, and my wife has just informed me the reason that there are three stools is uh, one stool is for the dressing table so yeah my wife has corrected me thank you darling uh, yeah hope you enjoyed that and uh, hopefully see you again but bear with me I made mistakes and this is our very first vlog and as I say we are like fish out of water with it so um, hope that was helpful thank you